Hi, Ari, it's Travson here, and welcome back to our Adventures in New World. Last episode, we came to Weaver Fen, and we slayed some bears. And we also helped the Syndicate by providing them with some bear repellent. And today, we are heading over to the Lep Lepus Ruins. We're going to investigate it for Dr. Theophrastus. He has a pretty interesting name. Hard to remember. Yeah, we'll see what happens out here. These are, uh, doing okay on bag space. I think we'll be alright. I'm interested to see what happens in these ruins. I have a feeling it is going to be a challenge. I will most likely put a campfire outside of it. Because those bears were no joke. Alright, we're in the swamp, guys. I have a feeling we are going to be getting attacked by some crocodiles eventually. The zone would not be... You know, the zone that I expected it to be if we not crocodiles. See how this boar is. So, this stuff's level 33. I have a feeling we're gonna start having trouble. Here, but, dealt with that boar pretty easily. That doesn't mean we'll deal with everything else that way. We have wood? No. So we need to get some wood. And we also need... Okay, we need wood. We need flint. Because we are making a campfire when we get there. I think that might be enough. We loot this too. This bumble blossom. It's a cool name for a herb. Bumble blossom. Yeah, it's a nice day in the swamp. Hey, this looks great out here. <laughs> they have to have alligators in the water, man. They wouldn't. They got it. But you can't have a swamp without alligators. What's going on here? Sea shanty. Oh, come ye lads and lasses with eyes all bonny bright to hear a tale that gives every living sailor fright. There is an island eternal surrounded by storm and just once we warn to stay away if you value life. Eternum, eternum. Land of the living dead. Oh, what the? F okay, well, I guess we don't value our life. What the heck is this guy fighting Raiden over here? Thunder and lightning at us. Completely wrecking this guy. Pack the punch, though. Yeah, Turnham is a dangerous place. Let's have a bite to eat. Because if we get chomped by an alligator, we need to have some health. Please don't tell me I'm dying. Okay, good. One thing I always thought was weird about this game, you can't swim. That's one good thing about this uh, ability with our great axe, we just like get right through it. Is that another bumble blossom? No. These things are level 35 here, okay. It's gonna be tough. Let's see how tough these guys are. Bad. Probably finish him off in the next combo. You do a lot of damage. That rapier was no joke. And it puts a bleed on you, which is pretty rough. Get more flint here. It might chop down another tree. Just to guarantee that we can make a campfire. All right, so we're getting kind of close. There's a lot of ancients here, some flint. Oh, come on. You've got to be like that. Oh. All right. Don't shoot me. Don't do it. 
Wow, this guy's like charging right through the swamp. What the heck? Yeah, these guys don't give up. Okay, we're gonna go here. Good thing we have that ability, man. We would have been stuck fighting those guys. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? <laughs> what am I playing, Doom? Oh my gosh, dude. Good thing about them is they don't have a lot of health. But they pack a punch. Oh, whoa. Yeah, okay, so these guys, they pack a punch, but they don't. They explode on death. They do a lot of damage, but they don't, they're easy to kill. All right, so we're here. I want to uh, put it down a campfire. Camping is restricted. Okay, so we'll have to go a little further back. It's raining out here, man. Weather looks great in this game, man. They did a really good job with the weather. All right, so there we go, we got a campfire. Looks like it's gonna cost us a bit to make this bad boy. There we go. And there we go. So if we die, it's going to be somewhat okay. All right, see what we can do. We got to, like, check out all these spots. Read the first entry. Okay, we got to do some reading today. Don't mind that. Okay, so who's hanging out here? Oh, those guys. Acid guys. Kill, kill this guy quick. Get out, get out, get out. I wonder how much damage that does. That probably one shot you. Maybe. Alright, so here's our first read. Oh, I got another one over here. All right, observation report day one. A syndicate research report written by Dr. Theo shows signs of storm damage. My colleagues and I have discovered a fascinating phenomenon at the ruins of Weaver Fen. To call it a microclimate would be an understatement. It appears to be a small permanent hurricane. I'm reminded of the colossal storm wall that pens in the whole island of Eternum. This smaller one seems to act on the same principles. The potential implications of this research are staggering. Among other things, we might finally find a method to escape this island. All right, so we seem to be trying to find a way out of a turnum, which makes sense. It would be cool if they had like, you know, tornadoes and hurricanes and MMOs. Like, that would be amazing. They have it in uh, the new Battlefield game. There's, like, tornadoes and stuff like that. Crazy weather effects, sandstorms. Be awesome if they implemented that in MMO. What's the next one we'll go to? This one right here. All right, fourth day two. Our campsite seems to have been surrounded by wildlife sometime in the small hours. They're acting strangely, but haven't moved to attack us yet. I've heard fellow scientists make reference to a phenomenon called blight that infects angry earth creatures in Eden Grove. The description seems to fit my observations of the creatures that now circle the ruins. The evidence suggests that the blight is spreading south. Dr. Fawn has hired several hunters to guard the camp perimeter from attack. I persuaded one of them to collect tissue samples from the creatures for me. We'll see what the microscope reveals about this blight. All right, so Dr. Theo, Pateo, he thinks that the angry earth is connected with, the, with corruption, which would make sense, because that would mean that the angry earth is, um, it's trying to, like, wipe out the humans, pretty much. 
But we know from like we're from playing the game and the lore that we found is that the corrupt the corruption wants to defeat the angry earth. Like that's their main focus. So clearly he's false. Well, we read the third entry, so we kind of read this a little backwards. Hope this one isn't the fourth one. Okay, page four. A closer look at the blighted tissue samples has revealed both animal and vegetable characteristics. Both hemoglobin hemoglobin and chlorophyll are present in the blood or is it sap i have so many questions i have i also took a biopsy of the red fungal looking growths that afflicted the creature presumably as the result of blight unfortunately the tissue samples ate through the glass side before analysts analysis could be completed curse these magical diseases meanwhile the lesser storm wall seems to be growing more unstable its circumference now varies up to three yards, and the wind velocity has increased. Observation continues. All right, well, I wonder what's in here. It'd be a cool character name. Hemo Hemo Goblin. Who's this guy? Woo! He's this is the real guy. Whoa! Get me out of here, dude. I didn't know you were that guy. That guy's a real fight. It's not like everybody else here. I'll make sure we get out of here before we fight him. Oh, they're still coming for me. He put some stuff on the ground too that you can't stand it. Have a bite to eat here. Probably disappears soon. There we go. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to get some Bumble Blossom. Okay. Let's get out of here. Find this last page. I want to fight that guy, though. What's going on here? To differentiate our phenomenon from its cousin, the Great Stormwall, we've taken to calling it Lesser Stormwall, or LS. Some observation on the, the LS. The vortex circumference is roughly 150 yards and remains remarkably stable over time. Wind velocity is approximately 130 miles per hour. The eye of the storm hasn't moved an inch since we started observing it. We do not yet know what lies at the eye of the LS. None of our attempts to breach the wind barrier have yet been successful. Perhaps we were to build some kind of anchoring system. Alright, so the storm, they just keep producing these light feeds. Here. Seems like we're poisoned. I want to fight this guy. At the top of the stairs. We'll see if we can beat him. Still have a friend with him? Yeah. So we're going to kill his friend and then we're going to kill him. Well, his friend's no joke. Kill him. One down. Let's have a bite to eat. We're gonna LOS. Try to stay away. Oh, I pulled another one of these dummies. That guy's pretty tough, man. Let's pop our... Oh, 
Another bite to eat. Trying to dodge him a little bit. What's he gonna do here? Okay. Probably gonna kill him. Poison they put on you is pretty rough. The cool thing is when you eat, you get rid of it. Yeah, we killed him. Yeah, another strong health pot. Alright, well that was cool. Oh yeah, we should check out what's in, uh, in here. This is probably a dungeon, I assume. Cool entrance. Stormwall barrier. What the heck? Investigate the Stormwall Scourge. Nice. Examine the Angry Earth Power Source. Then read the final entry. Where's the final entry? Right here. The Lepus Research Camp was destroyed last night. The Lester Stormwall sustained a sudden energy surge that caused it to explode in size and force. Cause currently unknown. I awoke in the wreckage of my tent and escaped with nothing more than my pajam the pajamas on my back. So much valuable research data destroyed. It's my understanding that Dr. Fawn, who was killed in the Stormwall Flare, is now recommending against re-establishing the camp, claiming safety concerns. Not to question my colleague's commitment or her courage, but aren't a few deaths a small price to pay? to uncover the truth behind the, this phenomenon. But I'll leave that for the ethics panel to decide. I guess, yeah, they did some research. Couple, couple of the scientists died. And they wanted to reestablish the camp. Yeah, who knows? They're probably not doing a good job. Because it seems like everything here is corrupted. Now we gotta go back to the doctor. These things are back. Let's make our way out of here. Uh, no! You gotta move! Gonna be pulling this entire place. Go, 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 go! Oh, this is gonna be the bad part. Hopefully we can get through here quick. Oh, are they there? Looks like we're okay. Maybe we can get these guys to fight the ancients. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I wonder if the angry earth and the ancients ever fight. They probably do. So where are we headed to now? up here is oh dude come on I think we got well, I don't know, let's go this way I know he's on the other side of uh, the settlement so we're going the right way Oh. Looked like iron ore. I think we gotta go around here. Or... This is controlled by the covenant. I don't know where we gotta go. Is that him? Gators gone wild. Yeah, no no wonder they got gators here. I think it's a little north, isn't it? Or is it down here? Ursus Hortus? So I remember when we came here. Came from Everfall. It's actually over here, isn't it? I think. I'm not too sure. I remember his camp being around there. Not showing us it on the map.
Yeah, there's a lot of dungeons that we got to do that we haven't done yet. And the last dungeon we did, it's like, yeah, we got carried and it looked pretty easy, but I was doing barely any damage, so. If I was there by myself, I probably would have got, well, not by myself, but if I did those dungeons with a group of people, like five people that are my level, I think it would have been pretty tough. So let's keep on going. If yeah, we see a bunch of, uh, you know, mutant bears, then we know we're going the right way. That's all I know. Imagine living in a swamp like this. Like, it's hard to keep dry. Pretty brutal. Start looking around here. Trying to figure out where we are. I just remember Dr. Teo being. I wonder if he's in the. He's not in the town, is he? No. I just remember seeing him. Like right when we entered the, the border here. So we'll pick up some of this. Keep on going. It's probably like around here, I think. Hope we don't have to go up there. Then I should have went up that that bridge. Should be just around here. If it's not, then I don't know where the heck I'm going. This place seems like the bear place. Yep, there's all the thorns. It's gotta be just over here. Yeah, there's the bears inside there. And there it is. Dr. Theo's camp. I think we remembered where it was. Okay. Well, we did it. You found it? Incredible! A storm, however small, projected by the collective consciousness of the Earth itself. Terra cogitatum. And you realize what this means about the storm vault encircling the island, yeah? It's also created by the angry earth. Exactly. The crimson particles aren't an indication of the corruption's strength. They're proof of its failure. The angry earth is preventing the corruption from escaping Aeternum. Okay, that's interesting. Do you realize the complete implications of this? 
That Stormwall has been there for millennia. The angry Earth must sense that the corruption represents a danger abroad as well. This is why the factions must unite. Oh, that again. Just when we've made this discovery, this might even explain the blight. I suppose you did make this possible, however. Fine. How do you propose we unite the factions? Start with the parlay. That seems entirely reasonable. An armistice would certainly aid in the cause of science. All right. I'll need to speak with some other alchemists, but I give you my word, at least one of us will attend. That's a start, at least. Yes, yes, it could be a good thing. Do send a message when you know the time and place. Now, what to do with all this bear urine? Has to be useful for something. A bomb, maybe. All right, so we have to uh, travel to Fort Alizar. Let's see where that is. That's all the way up there. Okay. All right, so I guess we're going to be heading back to Brightwood. But it looks like we are going to be going back to good old Monarch Bluffs. Should probably pick a new home because uh, Monarch Bluffs is currently controlled by the Covenant, but. We Problem is, the Marauders really don't have any other home that we can real, that we can go to, unless we want to make. Uh, I forget the name of the the settlement. Yeah, even scale reach. We've been up here, so we could go there. But yeah, guys. Next episode, we are going to be traveling to Fort Alzar, and hopefully, we can get all of the factions to unite as one. That is the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.